Good morning class. Today we will be talking about the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book series. What the hell? Nobody reads those stupid books. They're for little kids. And I'm obviously not a little kid. Because I'm too. Rosie, this is your first warning. You are not allowed to blurt out in class. That was very disrespectful. Well yeah I kind of agree with Rosie. The book is for younger kids and it's kind of stupid. Would you like a trip to the back of the room for blurting, Dora? Ms. Martin, or should I say, Ms. Bitch. You do not have the right to tell me or Dora what to do. You can just shut up. No you. Now both of you get to the principal's office this instant. What are you two doing in my office again? We were stating our opinions like respectful students and then Ms. Martin sent us to the principal's office. Yeah. As usual, you guys are not telling the full story. So spit it out, what really happened? What happened was exactly what we told you. Oh really? So if I were to call up Ms. Martin and ask her what really happened she would give the same story you two did? Um. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Now tell me the full story or I will make your punishment worse. Ook, fine. Me and Rosie were shouting our opinions without raising our hands. And we might have also said a few bad words. But that's how you respectfully discuss your opinion. Absolutely not. You kindly raise your hand and respectfully tell the teacher why you like or dislike the book. For disrespecting Ms. Martin, you two will be sent home early. Now get out of my office and start walking home. Rosie, I got the call from school. This is the third time this week you have disrespected your teacher. This means your grounding is extended to a month. Oh 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 Dad, I cannot believe this. I got sent home for the stupidest reason and you ground me? I'm going to do something bad now. You are the worst dad a daughter could ever have you stupid pathetic grounding waste toyed. I hope you enjoy the little gift I'm about to give all of the house. Looks like I'm going to have to call the exorcist again if she's going to do what I think she is going to do. Alright, let's do it. I conveniently have some rocks in my closet somewhere, so let me grab those. Hail Satan! 666, 666, 666, 666, bring me Boris the Teeth Guy. What the actual hell do you want now, Rosie? I was trying to run the infinite marathon in hell. I actually needed your help. Can you banish Ms. Martin to hell for being such a jerk to me and making me get sent home for stupid reasons? What? No. I may be a demon, but I have somewhat of a heart. Unlike you. And now that you've summoned me here, I can't go back for 24 hours. So I'm going to go hang out with your father. Brother, your stupid daughter summoned me. Ground her. I want to hang out. We haven't hung out in like three years. Okay Boris the teeth guy. I will go ground her and then we can watch some Spongebob or something. <laughs> Rosie, how dare you summon Boris the teeth guy. You know how evil he is. Now I have to put up with his shit. That's it. You are grounded 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 for three more months. Go to bed now. <laughs>